All right, now we come to almost my favorite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I also talked about this with uh, Dirk, and it was uh, the, the tax advisor, and it was very refreshing that the tax advisor has kind of the same uh, yeah. opinion on this as we do. Uh, so we have one uh, comment from Aziz and also a live question from Amir. Can we register a company and buy the house under that company name? And then we rent it. Ah, okay. Then we rent it from our own company. Okay, that's kind of an uh, addition. Okay, um, then it's actually two uh, two parts to this. So the first one about uh, which is also from Aziz: Should we buy a property in their name or private? Uh, it doesn't matter which property he wants to buy. The answer is always the same. And then the second one would be rent it from your own company, which is actually pretty. <laughs> These guys are so clever. Um, so where is this question coming from? Uh, probably from the standard YouTube video um, where it says create a uh, Immobilien yeah. uh, GmbH and for tax benefits. Yeah. And yes, it's true that if you have uh, a real estate privately as an investment, rental income is taxed the same way the salary is taxed with up to 42%, which hurts. A company is generally speaking taxed with 30%. Per Perfinex GmbH, for example, is taxed with 30%. Uh, but we're doing a commercial business. So if you have a real estate GmbH that has no commercial business, basically, the only uh, job of the, uh, of the GmbH is to hold property, but do no business, right? Then you can get it down under some conditions. Uh, you can get it down to 15%. Mm. And then we're, then we're talking about a huge margin, right? If you can get this one done. 42 privately rental income versus 15% uh, in the GmbH or UG or AG from company. Holding, yeah. like if you do a holding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the benefit. And this is, I think, where all these questions are coming from. But in order to get a complete picture, we can't only talk about the benefits, we have to talk about the downsides too. And trust me, as a person that has multiple companies, Immobilien GmbH, Perfinex, German Real Estate, all that, you have structural costs. A GmbH is a formally set up process, or UG is the same way. You go to the notary, uh, commercial registry, all that type of stuff. Uh, Jahresabschluss, so like the, uh, the, the yearly, the annual statement that you have to do, tax advice, all that. So the GmbH setup or UG setup costs you easily a thousand euros with all that. And then it probably costs you three, four K every year, something like this with, depending on, if you only have a couple of properties, maybe a little bit less, right? But um, you you don't get the game behalf for free, kind of. It it, it costs you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think the biggest downside, which is a strategy question again, as a private person, you can sell the property ten after ten years tax free. A company can never sell the property tax free. Uh, a company will always pay the fifteen percent tax if it's only like a non non business doing uh, uh company uh and if you buy and sell too many properties then finance will even say now you are a business then you go to yeah. 30% right and then maybe all these tax benefits that you could get with the company are all for north and that's why um start small that's reason number 1 start small privately and then maybe get an Immobilien GmbH later on because you need significant volume for this. So if you have a property 100 or 200K, don't start Immobilien GmbH. It's the structural costs will eat all the potential profits that you can yeah. make. If we're talking about more than a million, 2 million, 5 million, 10 million, 100 million, like all these uh, real estate funds, then of course, yeah. yes. Then yes. Yeah. But below a million, no. And this is also for the, um, this kind of leads into the second thing, the mortgage. If you want to uh, create a GmbH today and then walk into the bank tomorrow and say, hey, I want to buy a property worth 100 or 200K with a freshly created GmbH that does absolutely nothing. Mm. It's not even a real business. Then every bank says, no. Yeah. It took me and 
I was self-employed when I bought, uh, when I started the real estate GmbH, I was self-employed for four or five years. It took me eight months to find a bank that was willing to finance my Immobilien GmbH. They all said they will finance me privately, but that's not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I wanted this with the Immobilien GmbH. It took me eight months and we have pretty good bank contacts. So this is, if, if you have a stretch, freshly new one, never been self-employed, never any of this, it's impossible. You're not going to get a mortgage unless, again, you're trying to finance a million or more. Yeah, that's a different story. But also for a GmbH, you have to pay. You have to pitch in, how much? 22, 24,000? Yeah, usually 25, but you can get in half. Yeah, But this could be your down payment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That so if you, if you, and that's, that's kind of the thing, if you want to, if you find a significant volume, which is at the end of the day, the plan probably for the Immobilien GmbH, then banks are willing to do anything. If you walk into a bank with a financial situation, you can, you want to finance 2 million and you can actually afford it. All banks want this deal. But if you want to finance 100 or 200 K, which a lot of other people want and banks don't make a lot of money with it. And then you say, yeah, but I don't want to finance privately. I want to finance with a fresh league in BH and all that. Then banks say, no, we have enough people with this volume that are employed, stand most standard case. We don't need a lot of uh, checking uh, that needs to be done. Yeah. They're not interested. Absolutely. You're not going to get a mortgage for this. So second reason, <laughs> start small, start private. And then see if it goes by one property one year or two properties a year all privately. And after 10 years, sell them tax free to your own Immobilien GmbH, right? That's so this nice. is, this is, uh, we, we talked about a couple of people, uh, before the, uh, before the stream that are actually doing this. They buy one, two properties per year, small ones. So that, that, that they're not income millionaires. Um, they're regular, uh, people with a decent salary. Uh, they buy one, two small properties a year for 100k, 200k with very little down payment. Yeah. Uh, and they have been doing this now for three, four years. And now they're slowly starting to say, okay, in a year or two, two, three, four years, uh, I will create a, a real estate GmbH and then I sell them to my own GmbH. And then you can also get a mortgage with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Really everything done, everything said. Because if you wait, this is what Vanessa said earlier, if you wait and say, I want the Immobilien GmbH, but then you say, why not, why only a GmbH, why not a holding, right? A double, double uh, GmbH, and why not a trust and all of this? And then you're so far in the structural thing that you're never going to start anyway. So mm -hmm. start private and then with the GmbH later on if you have significant volume. Yeah, and even if you say, okay, after the third property or so you really want to build up a portfolio like this is really your focus you want to build up a portfolio then you can think about then talk to the tax advisor and say hey this is what i'm planning and then you can still see but really start privately otherwise you're going to end up paying way more money way yeah. more for nothing and sometimes also i doubt it i never had it but um sometimes it might happen okay i have one property i'm okay with that yeah, I don't yeah. want more. Especially if you don't have a property manager, yeah. <laughs> and everything goes wrong. Yeah, but uh, the other side is um, some people are happy with one property. And imagine happy with one property and they open a game BH or a holding yeah. or whatever and paid so much money and at the end you don't want more properties. Yeah, It makes more sense if you're having a volume, that's for sure. Yeah.